Free abs, free LA Man talk like they scored on the pits But they don't do none We all score like Pele Let me bark that Zeggy Mr. Morgan, you don't look very well. Uh, I'm not, Reverend. <clears throat> I fear I'm pretty sick. I'm so sorry. You seem well, on the other hand. Yes, uh, I've stopped all that silly business. I'm real sorry, but I can't talk. Who do you think the rat oh, is? All right, not a problem, Mr. What do you mean? Morgan. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. Both of you. Ain't a problem. Oh, excuse me. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has... ...the mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I'm not asking for very much. But when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? How can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Uh, perhaps. There's an army captain, Lyndon Monroe who was seconded here from a regiment in the north, sent by Washington. A good man. He'll be at the meeting and he knows the true situation. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. <laughs> Sorry. Why are you doing this? This way. Easy. Yeah. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, 
We come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Uh... Ah. Chief. <clears throat> yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. What is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh... I'm sure they do. Yeah. Listen. We're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <coughs> Keep breaking peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... <coughs> you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? Seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is gonna force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. And hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. Hightail Favors, the man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. I don't want to kill this man. Chow! You won't get away with this. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Time to get out of here. Come on! Get off me!
You sure as hell don't want to hang around here. That just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talk. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? You can't worry about that now. I guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Let me park that Zeggy on your mosque, get set. Who's